Good morning. I woke up this morning, well actually yesterday morning, with the worst pain in my neck. Like I, it's hard for me to like move. Even though I'm doing a fine job right now. Don't look down my shirt, you freaking freaks. <sighs> Anyways, I woke up at like 4 a.m. in so much pain. I just booked a massage, so I'm on my way to the massage right now. And this is my outfit of the day because I'm a little bit rushed. There's also like this street party happening on the street that the massage place is. So... I'm probably gonna check that out after. Anyways, we're getting a haircut today, guys. Say goodbye to my hair. Say goodbye. What's up, y'all? Ooh, look at this little hairdo and look. Um, okay, last we spoke, I was on my way to get a massage and I got the massage. It was amazing. It really helped my neck. It's still there. I love when I get a massage and they're like, oh. Like, I was like, this is definitely exciting. And I'm like, yeah. I borderline clean my place. Don't look. I'll move you this way. Um, I just put things in a pile. That's what I did because I have three minutes until I have to leave for my appointment. And I'm like, this feels like a fever dream. So as you guys know from the title of this video, I'm sure I'm cutting my hair. My hair is such a non thing in my life. Like I don't, I'm so detached from it. Like if someone came by me when I was wearing a ponytail and like cut my ponytail, I'd probably be like, where are you taking my ponytail, you fucking weirdo? But I wouldn't, okay, I'd care. Okay, like don't let me not lie, I would care. But I just... Don't, oh, also, I'm wearing a shirt. Is that not obvious? Okay. Uh, I've been wanting to cut my hair short for a while now, like a bob. Like a bob for so long. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to get bangs, like curtain bangs. And I'm, if it looks bad, it's... And if you see my hair in a bun for the rest of the summer, don't ask any questions, okay? When I walked out of my physio appointment there was like this little street festival happening i was like oh this girl that i love her jewelry was there so i'm like let me find her i found a few other things there was like this vintage store or like secondhand i should say and i'm like obsessed with men's button-ups recently especially if they have long sleeves you guys know how i feel about my extra long sleeves these like cover my hands i told you that these are like super long i just pinned them like that because i think you're supposed to put there's no buttons i think it's for literally cufflinks like i think this is like a i almost just torpedo tuxedo <laughs> Sure. And then I found these pants, and these are men's. Uh, men's clothes fit me so much better than women's. I don't know why. Um, these are like a stretch blue corduroy, cor corduroy, and they are so long and fit me literally tailored to my body. And obviously it's summer, so I probably won't wear these, but they're super cute. They're men's like, what's the brand? Lynx. Authentic, durable, timeless. Awesome. And then one thing that caught my eye is I saw my favorite olives. Now, if you know, you know, and if you don't know, learn. Casa Vetrano olives are superior in general, but these ones are so good. They're so buttery and they're not really briny. They're just so delicious. And they only sell them at Costco and I almost got a Costco membership just to buy these. So I found them and they were $10 too. I feel like that's a pretty good price for this size olives, the, for this size of olives. Like at the store, Anyways, it doesn't matter. You guys get it. And then the jewelry I got, is that all I got then? I feel like I got something else. Oh, I got some food. I got like sliders and this drink that I just re-put ice in. I wanted to get bracelets because I don't have any bracelets. And, um, okay, shut. First saw this one. And it's so cute with the little thing I'll wear today with the little chili pepper. And then I saw this one with the magic eight ball. And like this is, you guys know I got one thing about me is I'll buy something and um hello super cute I just put it on and I'm like this feels good and then I got this one because it's just like beautiful this is freshwater pearls and it's just all pearls I'm not so pretty <laughs> so I got those three and then she gave me two of these rings because I bought so much and then I got this necklace because look at it I might wear it today too actually it, it has chili peppers and mushrooms and it's so cute i just honestly love her like she's so nice so love to support and every time i wear oh this won't be happening much longer every time i wear her pieces i get so many compliments on it from 
people so love that so cute i feel like a little chef okay it's haircut time also sorry this is all over the place but let me insert photos this is what i want my hair to look like okay i'm not saying it's gonna look like that but this is what i want i'm just over it my hair I, oh, I have my entire life for my hair to be long i want my hair to be short so let's see ready next time you see me it's gonna be here and it better fucking look good i swear to god okay three two oh my god you guys i just cut my hair and it feels so good it feels so good i can't even tell you how good it feels we cut slight curtain bangs because i was scared to commit fully i think it's so cute like maybe even like a side part moment it just feels so like the hair in the back of my ha hair like these pieces i'm not kidding this is the first time in my life that they weren't they aren't like dead <laughs> feels so good it's six o'clock and it looks like it's gonna rain it's so humid outside i can't wait to like wash you know when you get a haircut and the first time you wash it is like i can't stop playing with it oh my god it's so fun Okay, it's 6 p.m. I'm like tired. Today was a big day for no reason. So I think I'm just gonna go to, I want basil because I have a loaf, literally a baguette, like a French loaf of bread. And I have a bunch of fresh tomatoes and I wanna make bruschetta. What's up y'all? It's the next day. I literally just woke up. If you can't tell from my voice, I just woke up to a banging on my door, like, like this, but nonstop. It just kept getting louder and I was waking up and I'm like, is that my alarm? Like what kind of Apple alarm is that? And then turned out I got a package and the man was very excited to deliver it to me at me being like, it's so early. It was like at 10 AM on a Sunday though. On a Sunday. So I wanted to open it on camera because I feel like this video is kind of short for for one of my events. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't say this is from Essence. If you didn't know, if you don't know what Essence is, I feel like it's a worldwide company. Um, but it's definitely Canadian. It's in Montreal. And it, it's like a reseller of designer brands. And I don't usually purchase from them, but I wish it... What? Is this some essence? Oh yeah, they were having a sale. So all this stuff was like 60% off. They have really good sales. And I was just in the mood. I ordered this like two weeks ago when I got paid. I got this fleece jacket. This was $80. I feel like that's pretty good for a fleece. Like, isn't this cute for the winter? The siren? It's thick as hell. It's Carhartt. Not like that really means anything to me, but. Okay, I have to put this on. <laughs> the only thing that is weird is the inside is like a raincoat fabric. I thought it would be fleece. Like, why wouldn't it be fleece? I might return this because I wanted the inside to be cozy, cozy fleece, and it's not. And I feel like for $80, it should be cozy, cozy. <laughs> Anyways, so that's that. And then this one I'm really excited for. It is from Holy Freaking Bag. Oh. Danielle Guizo. Oh shit. Guizio. Ju Gu Danielle Gu I am a huge fan of all of her stuff, but it's so expensive. And so when this got to be under $100. So what's it normally priced at? This is normally like $280. It's literally a long sleeve shirt, turtleneck. And the way that they styled it was under or over, under a corset top. And I think it was so cool. Okay, imagine it wasn't completely see-through right now. And imagine, should I put a corset top over top? No, I'm so lazy, but you guys can imagine. Like something over top of this. I think it's cute. 
Okay. Amazing. New hair check. It really is so necessary to have bangs when you have short hair. I've realized. Or else you just look like... Or I just look like Snape. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to go really clean my place now, edit this video, and potentially upload it today. We'll see.